have any comparative data on, I don't know for sure how you would express it, but the number of jobs per 100,000 tons of material mined, my sense is that any mining today is going to be dramatically lower number of jobs than there would have been in 1910 in the copper fields. Is that an accurate presumption? Oh yes, oh yeah. Uh, and do you know what dominant. that factor might be though? I can't tell you that, but it's not going to be a dime, dominant thing. It'd be a part of the, of the economy and of course there's a lot of spin-offs on that, but it's not going to be something that you know, when like C and H closed down, it was devastating for the community. Okay. But when they were operating, there was yeah. very, very prosperous up here. So. Mm -hmm. Yes. What would they do with the mining in this area as compared to now they did in the past? How would you extract the copper from the mine? Well, you know, like home state didn't have a small mine that operated for 15 months. 15 months, yeah. And uh, they um, produced about 5 million pounds of copper. Um, the purpose of that mine at that time was to establish the milling characteristics of the ore. And they, they uh, erected a small concentrator at Centennial. <coughs> and, um, but we used the mining techniques that had been previously um, used in the district by C and H. And um, it didn't take us long to figure out that you wouldn't want to do that. It's too dangerous. Open stopes. You know, I'm a proponent for backfill, cement, cemented backfill, which supports the, the ground, uh, allows a, a more efficient extraction of the resource, and, um, and is safer, makes it a lot safer. So that's what I'd like to see. I mean, that's why the soaps caved in, because they're open. And it also reduces the amount of uh, waste. You I was, yeah, I was wondering about transportation. So, sort of following up on the first question, I think, if um, in terms of where stuff might happen, and yeah. and if we're talking about potentially shipping directly out of Bay Degree or railroad or trucks, or how would this stuff get out of here? Well, a concentrate would not be a large tonnage material. But, you know, of course, we don't have rail anymore on that side of the canal. So um, it have to be trucked uh, initially. And then, um, you know, you, there's no loading facilities here. But that's one, one uh, option is to put it in super sacks and ship it, ship it that way. But uh, probably the most straightforward way would be to take it by truck, to concentrate by truck to Barriga and load it on the train. It goes to Sudbury. Unless there's something that happens at the late time, right? I kind of think that's a long 